In this video, I'm going to walk you through some of the steps to um, working with projection drawings. So I have up here my grid, and I've placed two walls on the grid. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an elevation and a section projection directly below it. Uh, so I'll start off with offsetting one of my lines. I'm going to offset this lower edge of the grid by 24 feet. And that's going to be the ground line. And then I'll offset that line another 24 feet. And that will be the ground line for the elevation. Now I'm going to use the extend tool to stretch these, these two lines to the border here. So I type in EX for extend. I select this square. And then I press enter and I select the ends of the line and it should extend it to the edge of the square. And if this is uh, made up of a series of lines, you'll just have to have multiple selections. All right, also I've set my, my layer to construction lines. Um, and I've only got two walls here, but I'm gonna go ahead and project those down. There is a tool called uh, X-Line. And what that does is it generates a line infinitely in two directions. So I'm going to snap from the end point of my wall here and select any point down here. And I'll do the same thing from the other end of the wall. Let me zoom in so you can see what it is that I've done. Okay, there's the, the wall right there. And I will do the same thing for this wall right here. I'll generate a projection line from the two ends of the wall. Okay, so now as I mentioned, um, this is going to be an elevation and this is going to be a section drawn right here. Now the difference between an elevation and a section is simply the placement of the cut. Anything that is cut is graphically shown with a heavier line. For an elevation drawing, the only cut line is the ground line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this line and I'm going to put it on the cut layer. So it now appears in cyan. All right, now these two walls that I have here, there's one that's located right here, and that one is three feet. And there's one here, and I'm going to make that one nine feet. So in elevation, I'll zoom in a little closer here. I would simply um, begin from this point right here begin making a line that's three feet, press enter. You know, I can use the perpendicular or since I already know that this is an eight inch wall, I could input eight, enter. And you'll notice before I did that, I led the cursor toward the right. And then I can snap at this intersection down here. All right, now these, these lines have been drawn on the construction layer, but there actually should be on a layer that's called uncut. In other words, we're not cutting through that place in the plan. Okay, I'll zoom out just a little bit. Now the other wall is gonna be a taller wall and it will appear um, beyond this, this shorter wall right here. So I am going to this time, to save myself a step later, I'll make my current layer this uncut layer and I will begin by drawing a line from this intersection. I lead the cursor upward, input nine feet, enter. Um, I will use the perpendicular object snap. I can add that to my object snaps. I can also right click and use the object snap overrides and select perpendicular. And you can see it's found the perpendicular point and then snap down below. Okay, now this is the beginnings of the elevation. Um, to complete the exercise, you'll have more walls than what you see here, but this is just to give you an idea. And now I'm going to move up to where the section is. Now the section is similar to the elevation, but the difference is this. When I make an elevation, I'm cutting through only the ground 
So maybe my cut is here and I'm looking up in this direction and that means that nothing else is cut. But if I cut my section, let's say at this point right here, I will be cutting through this short wall. And so the graphic changes a little bit. This wall will still be shown in elevation like I have below, but this wall is gonna change graphically. But it's similar, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a copy of these walls down here, and I'll snap from this point to this point. And then I'll zoom in a little closer. Now the difference is gonna be that the wall is cut through. Okay, so if I make my current layer the cut line, I'm gonna to need to change part of this line right here. Um, and I can do this in a number of ways. I could change its, its layer or I can just trace over the top of it and that's your option. So right now I've, I've changed the layer to cut and I could just begin tracing over the top, but I could also take some of these layers and simply change them. Okay, and in this case here, I could put this, I'll click on it and then change its layer from the grid layer to cut layer. Now, all I need to do is trim that line right there. So I'm gonna use the trim tool, I'll type it in. All right, I wanna use these two lines as my cutting edges, press enter, and then click on that little line right there. Okay, so let's take a look and see what we have. If I turn off some of these layers that make it difficult to see, turn off the construction layer, turn off the grid layer, and I can also, uh, just to clarify what I see on the screen, turn off the grid that's part of model space, right? So there's the difference between what you would see as a section cut and what you would see in elevation. And just make note that we're only interested in the spatial profile. We're not interested in what happens where that wall meets the ground. So any place that the wall does uh, meet the ground and you're cutting through it, you would eliminate that line.